crazy? I was crazy once, and perhaps I'm still a bit crazy. Because it has happened again. Rockstar have done something, a little minor thing, that could be a massive GTA 6 teaser. So I believe it was yesterday that Rockstar actually released a new GTA Online update. From what I could tell, it's, you know, more of the same stuff. It's GTA Online. If you like it, you like it. But if you're bored, like me, you've been playing it for the last 20 years. Yeah, it's the same sort of stuff over and over again. But they added a new business, of course, that costs naturally a billion dollars or something crazy. Inside of this business, if you purchase the, like, the room area where you can sleep in it, there's a very interesting stain. And as you can see in the gameplay, it is right over the bed. And I know what some people, most people maybe are already thinking, dude, that's a freaking wall. What are you talking about? How are we gonna connect this to GTA 6? Let's take a step back before we get any deeper because Rockstar love this sort of stuff. You may not like it. You may not wanna agree with it, but Rockstar love these small teases. It all started, well, it probably started way, way back in the day, but for GTA 6, it, it pretty much started with this image. This is a Google images shot of a random road. I don't even know where, I think it's in Virginia. The coordinates to this road were actually teased in the Cayo Perico trailer. I don't know, yeah, well, I'm not gonna play the trailer, but in the Cayo Perico trailer back in 2020, there were these coordinates. And if you put them in Google Maps, it brought you to this random road, which just so happens to look like VI. Okay, so that was the first of all of these many crazy Rockstar related teasers. It continued, I believe later that year, maybe the next year, there was this uh, this top picture. This was part of a big artwork for one of the GT Online DLCs, but there was this helicopter, which is not in the game. This helicopter model, at least, is not in the game. It does, however, almost 100% look like the Miami Dade police helicopters. So this was another little tease regarding GTA 6, because of course GTA 6 is in Vice City, which is Miami. This helicopter it was not in the game at the time. I'm not sure if it's in the game or if they've implemented it yet or since, but this was another little tease that of course, I, this might've actually been before we even knew the game was in Vice City. So this was a tease that we're going back to Vice City. Then of course we had the San Andreas remake or a remaster, whatever it's called, definitive edition this picture of this house. This was in the UFO bar. Nothing else was changed apart from this picture. This was added. Uh, here we have, I think this is an upscaled model of it when people dug through the game files. But yeah, this was a picture that was new, that was added to the game. It doesn't look like anything from any other GTA game. It has the new updated, you know, RDR2-esque style of, of a cloud system. It's kind of basic, not a lot going on, but this was maybe, you know, early on in GTA 6's development. I think what this is more than likely is a picture of just a random house from GTA 6. It'll be really interesting, of course, when GTA 6 comes out, we can go through and figure out where this actually is and see, you know, before and after. But yeah, this was another little tease about GTA 6. We had this whole debacle with the moon and then the VI over here on the left. This was, I believe, a couple of months before the trailer one released. And by the way, I know people, myself included, we, we delved into the moon phases. It turns out December 5th actually had a very, very similar moon phase as what we're seeing here. So the moon was connected. But of course, the big tease here was just the VI over here on the left, like the, the staging of this photo was pretty intentional to tease VI GTA 6. Then of course, once GTA 6 released, we had the artwork, which if we go ahead and zoom in here on the bottom right, there's nothing of detail really in any of this other, uh, any of these other spots except for on this board. And it's still debated if this is, you know, a map of something uh, important, if this is like the full map, but of course, in today's video, we're, we're talking about another little map teaser. But yeah, they had this tease, which could be something it's not, we're not going to know until the game probably comes out. But yeah, this is another little tease they threw in here. And then of course, the latest one was literally from the promotion of this new GTA Online DLC on this person's arm. They have the tattoo that just says 8VI12 and that 8, 12, August 12th. 
if something happens on or near that date, then this is another tease regarding GTA 6. And I'm sure there's even more that I've missed over the years. So the reason I'm going through all of this is because Rockstar, for better or for worse, whether you want to like it or not, they know what they're doing when it comes to throwing random stuff in their games and their marketing that tease future projects such as GTA 6. Okay, so now let's hop back into the GTA Online new business. Now, one thing, we're just gonna walk around and the one thing that caught my eye was actually the lack of other stains and such in the building. Like, it's a pretty sanitized looking building. Like, it's a pretty clean looking building. There's not a lot of like worn down stuff, really. All the textures and all the walls apart from that one stain it's relatively clean and simple. And the reason I'm just bringing that up is because it, to me at least, it was a bit strange how this one little area over the bed in an area that you can very easily see has this stain. Now there is over to the left, there's this like, it looks to be a, maybe a poster of some sort got torn down. Hey, maybe that's a connection, but uh, I'm not seeing anything regarding GTA 6 and that, but that's the only other portion of this entire business that is a little like worn down or old looking. I, I don't know what you would call it, but back to the stain, this could be a little teaser of GTA 6's map. I will show a comparison here in a few seconds on this blob versus the mapping project. And they are very similar. Although I will say from this angle that we're looking at it, you may not see it and that's because we actually have to flip the image and before we get to that look i already know there's gonna be people typing probably have already typed bro go touch grass take your meds your schizo perhaps perhaps all of that is true but you just can't deny the fact that it's just weird right it's just weird how in this completely nice looking business there's this one spot that is very easily seen that just so happens to look very similar to the mapping project speculation we have of GTA 6's map. Okay, so what we're actually gonna do here is we're actually gonna hop into Photoshop. So I took a, a screenshot of the thing. I have sort of made it a little bit more visible, hopefully. I basically just lightened the, the, sh the light parts, darkened the dark parts, and, and then I also flipped it because what you would normally see is this and honestly it almost looks like the rdr2 map from this perspective because the rdr2 map is more sort of diagonal like this but again what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to flip the map and now all of a sudden it looks a little similar like it looks like the state of florida kind of and i'm going to go ahead and bring in here the mapping project and i mean look it's a blob on a wall it's not going to be super detailed or anything but the general shape of it is very similar, no? At least this right blob, uh, this bottom left blob down here, I'm not entirely sure what that could be. We'll get into that in a, a minute, I guess, but like you kind of have a little like panhandle-esque thing here. We have in this area, the bay, which is where like the Port Gellhorn area is. Over here on the right, this would be the beach area, and it kind of stops, looks like it juts in a little bit, then comes out again, which is kind of similar to, to what's happening here. Again, the mapping project is a lot more detailed than this blob on the wall, but it does have some pretty close similarities. That's all I guess I'm trying to bring up here. Now, the one thing, of course, like the lake, there is no lake over here. Obviously, the big thing, this whatever down here in the bottom left if it's florida of course florida does not have anything land mass wise down here in the bottom left it's a it's a peninsula so there'd be just water everywhere so i'm not really sure look leave your crazy guesses if you want to go along with this in the comment section down below but again the main reason i'm just bringing this all up is because rocks are very particular with these things now i do just want to quickly also point out because of course we've looked at this is the mapping project map, the latest edition of it. And if we actually go up here at the top right and look at the, whatever it's called, you can actually see there is a decent amount of speculation in this map. And the one thing in particular is the borders. Anything in orange is complete speculation. 
Uh, really, the only thing, like the only thing that's confirmed if it's in this dark green or, or like a black color. And I'll just show, for instance, like you can see all of this orange, the shape of these islands, it's pretty much speculation because we just don't have enough information as of yet. The only parts that are confirmed you can see are like on this left hand side of the city. Like that's pretty much confirmed. Uh, the islands, of course, you can see over here on the right. This is the only sort of exterior that's kind of confirmed because if we do zoom out, like there's a lot of orange here on the, the the borders of this map. So even though this is what a lot of us are hoping it looks like, this isn't confirmed. Like not like only the smaller details are confirmed. Like the entire exterior could be completely different. So going back to a you know a potential l teaser of the map, it might not look 100% like this map project. I guess that's where we're gonna end the video. But I mean, look. Are we schizo for doing this? Perhaps, but what else is there to talk about with GTA 6 at this point? Rockstar are silent, or are they? Because they are maybe dropping these little teasers. But I think it will be fun to come back and revisit this sort of stuff once we actually have the map and once we have a lot more information. We'll see who actually was schizo and what one of these map teasers was actually correct. Because of course we do have this one. In addition to the one I mentioned in the little poster, they both look completely different. So obviously something's up here if they are, if one of them's a map. But for sure, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Are you jumping on the schizo train or are you taking the high road and like just saying, guys, it's a wall. It's a blob on the wall. Some poor, probably underpaid guy at Rockstar just put that in and now we're dissecting it like it's a GTA map teaser. That could be the case. Who knows? But that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA 6 content. Hopefully in the future we won't have to get as crazy as this. But it is what it is. It's Rockstar. At the end of the day, they like their craziness. Thank you guys. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.